Smart SPL offers the ability to remotely view levels and SPL history from any device on the network via a web browser. In this video, we'll learn how to configure the SPL web viewer. To start, once you have an input source selected and calibrated, enable logging. Logging must be enabled to generate the data which will be made available to the web viewer. Next, open the options menu and select API. In API settings, note the IP address and host name of the computer. If the computer has multiple IP addresses, you can hover your cursor over the displayed IP address to view them all. If you wish, you can enter a password to prevent unauthorized viewing of the web server. Then, enable the server. The status indicator turns green to indicate that the server is operational. You can access the web server via a web browser on any device on the network. Simply enter the IP and port number or host name and port number. We recommend using Chrome or Firefox browsers. And additionally, we recommend using incognito or private mode as some browser plugins can interfere with the web viewer's operation. In the upper right corner, you can select either the light or dark mode for the web viewer. Meters can be subtracted or added. And an input and metric can be selected for each. Use the input dropdown to select which logging input is displayed on the history timeline. And the display dropdown to set the time range. The following two dropdowns are used to select one or two metrics for display on the timeline. 